so uh, it was a, a big a big storm uh, it's not uh, normal uh, to do it uh, at the Algarve because the Algarve no, is known by the Sun um, so it was a big storm uh, and with the, um, the the water from the beach too uh, it came and make a float a float um, how, how it how it we, we are not uh, used to it. Uh, it's very difficult to us to know what to do because it's no normal. I think the the, the equal we have it was in '61, so it was long, long time ago. Um, and then the people are going to uh, are, are are uniting uh, volunteers, um, the main hall, uh, everyone are working. Uh, we are Boy Scouts. We have Boy Scouts from Albufeira from another place of the Algarve um, and we are going to do what is possible. And how much effort do you think is involved in this time and money? Uh, money a lot. Lots money a lot. Uh, time is equal. <laughs> a lot of time. It's difficult to work at night because the lights are, uh, because of the water, the lights are closed. Uh, but at the day we have much work to do. It's terrible what happened here, it's, uh, no one was expecting this, uh, it was uh, too much uh, rain, it created such an immense flood and uh, it's horrible and uh, as you can see this is not how it was supposed to be, the, all this area is supposed to be all, uh, all clean, uh, no debris, nothing. And yeah, uh, we are helping each other, there are scouts from all the Algarve here. Uh, participating, they are from Albufeira and uh, the other cities, Algoj and Kelch. Kelch, it's a little bit far away, like one hour travel here, and they came to help us because they knew that uh, we needed help to to clean all this mess. And uh, we're trying to make the the best of it. The best. Uh, we'll get up, and uh, with lots of hard work, we are going to to make the city shine again. More water may be inside, 10 to 12 feet water may be in every freeze, every deep, maybe water up and they will cross everything inside. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. And maybe you check now that is every freeze, every disease, everything is finished maybe inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can tell you the disaster what happened was a water mess with everything. Uh, we are cleaning the bar, working this bar, so we are cleaning the bar. Uh, try to fix for the next year. Uh, in one month, something like that is going to be ready. Uh, it's not a big team, but with Shrink and we really want this ready in a few times, so I don't know. You got lots of work ahead of you. Oh, yeah. Lo lots of work. Yes. Was worst, but. Was there a lot of damage? Uh, yeah, uh, lots, uh, thousands of euros. Yes. Uh, so if not millions, with everything. Well, here all things destroyed. Nothing in the bars, nothing in any place. Computers, music systems, everything, chairs, tables, food on the restaurants, drinks on the bars, everything destroyed. Now we're gonna try to rebuild all those things. We have a lot of help from the population. A lot of population come to help us. And it's more or less this. At two weeks, this is a, like a, a, a big sea. Now it's the things you, you can see. All people stay rebuilding this how much effort do you think is involved in, in millions fixing? millions millions of the of uh, errors and, and how long do you think this will take to, to clean up maybe to clean up i don't know but to open only maybe in march yeah. that long yeah because the electricity is things gone the water's gone don't have nothing you have to rebuild everything 
everything. Do you think there is any problem with the water, the quality of the water that's in happening In this here? moment, yes, because I have a lot of caves in, a, in, a, in the shops, uh, full of water, all the places are full of water now. We have the firemen here, the police, the, the people to help. A lot of people, maybe a thousand people helping, but it's very, very hard to, to have a time to do this. Okay, uh, like I said earlier, we visited the area about three days ago because we came over to Portugal on Wednesday and we came to the Albufeira area and we caught a bite to eat and everything and we were saying what a wonderful town it was. We were actually staying eight miles from here and while we're here holidaying we thought we'd come and revisit Albufeira and we started at the top and we noticed that there was a few cobbled stones lifted and we thought that the weather from the couple of nights before must have affected it but as we got deeper into the town we realized this devastation and it was a complete shock I mean it, it was a the scene you see here was totally different to how it was obviously it was busy people were enjoying lunch food and everything and now it's like uh, a disaster zone but one thing I can say I, I can see the community of people getting together and rallying around to clean the area up but it's of a mass destruction and I'm deeply shocked, deeply shocked. So, Sunday, we was here in Albufeira trying to start a new day here and we had a lot of rain, not normal. So, we had uh, a little bit of a, a river, it starts a river and then starting to get very big. So, uh, like you see, we had a lot of mud and uh, a lot of water. So, every shop, every restaurant, bars, everything finished. You can look, you can see the higher after the water came. So, the shops here, for example, only what it was here on the top. You can see here, everything just gone. We have everything in the black bags because it's impossible to sell again, to try to make again something with this so you can look and then now what we have to do is to clean because you can see we have for two days already cleaning and it's still dif difficult because it's a lot of uh, water still water and mop again and uh, sand sand so much sand and uh, so we are trying to do something for two days already but it's been very 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 difficult so that is our Albufeira, beautiful Albufeira, my friends. And I'm telling you, I'm very sad with this because we have to reconstruction again. Everything is really sad because Albufeira never happened this. So it's really, everybody here very sad. But we are the strong, we're going to do something. We all together, we are the champions. Yeah, we're going to do something, we're going to be okay. Next year you come here, my friends. I'll talk to you again. Yeah. Obrigado, senhora.